and not because Welcome everyone. My name is David Nasback and I have the pleasure of being a McLuhan Centenary Fellow and along with my fellow fellow Paul Granata, uh, a, a, a curator of these, uh, these events uh, with the assistance of John Oswald who you can thank for the, some of the imagery in the place. Happy New Year, everyone. And uh, uh, this is the first uh, of the winter series of seminars following what we think were a very successful series of Monday night sessions in the fall. Standing room only, which was a big surprise to us because previous times people didn't show up for some reason. Maybe times are changing. People are more interested in some of these compelling uh, issues and the compelling people that we are fortunate to uh, be able to invite here as, uh, as guests. I would encourage you to avail yourself of the brochure of this series if you haven't got one. In fact, on the blue chair in the front entrance, you'll see a box of brochures. Help yourself. Uh, please take a fistful uh, to share with uh, friends and colleagues and people who you think might be interested in what we're doing here. You'll notice that we're sitting in circles. There is no front to this room. Squarish circles. <laughs> Squarish. This is the room uh, where McLuhan held forth in his Monday night seminars and when we were students and I should add that I was his student and teaching assistant and we used to be laughing at all business partner in the sense that there wasn't really much business, but uh, we did some consulting. Uh, so I'm one of the uh, early people with uh, McLuhan, with people like Bob Logan, who worked for many years as a fellow teacher and an author, and, uh, and uh, so a lot of stuff happened in this place when he was alive, and then there were a period of years when it rather came more abundant, and uh, we're very happy that as of 2015, things have started to pick up. One of the reasons I might say is that people like Paolo Bernata show up. He's from Bologna, Italy, uh, and a professor there. He's a visiting professor here. Uh, people outside of Canada seem to have more interest in energy about McLuhan and his legacy, or what he stood for, or what he didn't stand for. We've sort of become a little bit complacent. Uh, so hopefully these seminars are going to do something about it. We're not here to talk about the clue. We're making ourselves, uh, we're availing ourselves of, of this room. It's 50 people in a room having a conversation. But we weren't sure that was going to work when we uh, began these things. It turns out 50 people can in fact have a conversation. So we're going to hear from, from three of our our, our, uh, our guests, and I'll introduce them uh, fairly soon. Uh, I should say that part of the underlying thinking about having these seminars is not just seminars for their own sake, but it is an actual genuine effort to stimulate or re-stimulate a community of interest among those who were in one way or another interested or associated with McLuhan in the past, but hopefully young people uh, interested in the issues that uh, McLuhan's prescience uh, helped us to uh, respond to. Uh, so we're actually in an effort to stimulate and create a community of interest in the university, in the city, uh, city is classroom is our primary theme, uh, in our country uh, and, and internationally. As I mentioned, our theme is City is Classroom, by which we mean, I guess, that's assuming there were no universities.
universities, and the only place we could learn from is the city, what would we learn, and how would we learn it, what, what informs us, what are the metaphors, what's the deeper understanding that we can get from the communities that we've created, uh, that we call city. Or we can think of it in a larger sense, metaphorically, and, and seize upon the notion of a global city or a global village, which is a very loose, not meant to be overly directive theme of tonight. Is there a global village? So in a moment, we'll hear from three of our speakers, which I will introduce to uh, touch on that. But before that, I'm going to call on Paulo to take us through a couple of logistic issues that will be of interest and value to you. Yes, good evening, everybody. First, um, a little uh, small um, advice. The remote control uh, will uh, work. If not, no, please push the right arrow. Just your hand. Okay, no, right arrow. Okay, sometimes. Uh, Wi-Fi, we are uh, 50 people in the room, but uh, we are not alone, uh, there is uh, uh, the network uh, Wi-Fi free for you, you can uh, access the Code Charles network and password for Charles one word. We're very pleased to share our thoughts uh, online and for these reasons uh, remember that uh, um, there is a registration tool for the events. Huh? Any event uh, uh, you can register for free uh, through Eventbrite uh, in order to reserve your own seat for the upcoming events. But in terms of sharing our thoughts with the world you see uh, a little news. Uh, so Macron Co Charles is our uh, is our uh, uh, Twitter account. The CTS class <coughs> is our uh, hashtag. And so you see a little picture. So Maya Maya Cruz <laughs> is our uh, brand new social media uh, manager, and she will live tweeting the singer but you too are invited to tweet to share mentioning McLuhan Co Charles or mentioning the hashtag city as class so thank you Maya for uh, spreading the word to, to the world and so um, a little another small news I will introduce you uh, our friend Seth Brando Fly what is that? <laughs> Brando Fly is a presence, is an intruder in uh, our room. Uh, somebody noticed that uh, there is something in the middle of this room, right? And what is that? That's a camera. But we have three main good news. Firstly, we are recording the seminar. Hmm? That uh, digital high is uh, recording everything, audio and video. We are recording each seminar, each book salon, each event uh, uh, here at the Coach House. Right? Recording is the first uh, news. Second, we are posting online, we are publishing online all events. So tonight or tomorrow <coughs> you will find the recording of this uh, very seminar. And so we can share our uh, thoughts, our ideas uh, with uh, the entire uh, virtual classroom uh, of the web. So, second, we are uh, posting and publishing online this week. Thirdly, and final, uh, it's a brand new kind of recording. It's a 360 degree recording. So you will see on YouTube or Facebook, you can explore this 